Yep, 111 minutes is the grand total of four matches. That's all Gambit have survived against Team Secret. Uh, we're going to get more from our three panel members, but uh, first off, let's check in with Purge. The Mountain Dew Amp Game Fuel Power Plays. When I was checking out that game, one thing I noticed was uh, Secret got off to a really big gold advantage. Maybe not a huge gold advantage, but a, a moderate gold advantage early on in the game. And when they picked Troll as their last pick, what they were looking for is a, a carry that can secure their safe lane against the scary hero of Night Stalker, who isn't the strongest until nighttime, but he has high HP, high armor, and pretty good damage. So what they did that was really interesting was Troll's benefit is his uh, second skill here, his axe skill. It does 75 magic damage when you throw it out, so he combos it together with his attack to guarantee range creep blast it. And what was really cool is Puppy skilled his third skill. And what that does is reduces all of your basic cooldowns by three seconds. So that means it gives Troll a six second cooldown and full mana on that Troll ability. So if we go back just a second here, not only did he get to use it earlier than he expected, but he's also full mana. So when Nightstalker comes in for a last hit, he gets slowed here. And then both heroes are right clicking Nightstalker. The sacrifices Keeper of the Light's ability to do a nuke, but it facilitates Nisha to use his more often and they get to pressure more. Look how many times he's thrown this out so far. And it might you might be thinking like, hey, where the hell is this guy's dual lane partner? He is actually in the game. He's, but what he ended up doing was pulling the, the creep wave all the way around. He pulls it all the way to about the tier three here and ends up trading a creep wave out. So he's actually denying a lot of farm from Nisha. But the problem is that that dive that, that, that ended up in a first blood in Zai's favor happened on the top lane. He TPs out of this lane before this range creep dies. And then he's basically gone from the lane for the rest of the laning stage. So it's actually pretty impactful because when we go back to later on, Night Stalker can't even approach the wave. He does get quite a few levels because of the push, but Nisha is just dominating last hits. And right now, Night Stalker is sitting at a measly five. Five last hits on him. Nyx has three and two, and we got Troll all the way up here at 15 and five. So one of those small laning things we don't get a chance to see very much, so I want to show it to you guys. Yeah, very good. That That's a great point. And yep. if you were to watch this replay, like, that, that's a game losing move. And it's a perfect example of an individual that doesn't, like Immersion's a fantastic player. He's super talented, but th there are no circumstances where you can teleport out of the bottom lane. It's just, you cannot do it. I don't 